Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is your person hiding from you, okay? So what is it that they want to tell you but they're afraid to tell you? What is it that you need to and deserve to know? This is going to be a general reading, guys. Please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video where the show more section is. Okay, the Queen of Wands flew out here. You've got the Queen and the King of Wands. This is interesting. I notice how the King of Wands is leaning in towards the Queen. The King of Cups, quite a regal spread here, wouldn't you say? And the Seven of Pentacles here. Interesting. Okay, so your person is very, very attracted to you. Okay, this is someone who I feel like is intensely drawn to you. So they feel, they feel a lot of emotions that feel very whelming okay so I'm talking about like their heart starts racing their palms get sweaty their stomach flips whenever they're around you um, and this is someone who look they may even barely know you but this is someone who feels intensely drawn to you okay just it's this feeling of instant att attraction here there's quite an undeniable connection or attraction that the two of you share especially with the queen and the king of wands energy and look you might even barely know each other or barely but know this person but this person feels as though they may have known you their whole life or you might even you know feel the same here so this is someone who feels instantly comfortable around you like an instant sense of familiarity and comfort and it's like the two of you have this unspoken connection so there's quite an undeniable attraction to one another and they can't exactly explain it and this is why I feel like this person is scared to come forward and um, you know open up to you and tell you what uh, is going on it's just I think the both of you share okay I feel like the both of you feel this connection you feel this attraction towards one another but you neither of you speak of it or neither of you act on it like it might be a certain look they have in their eyes um, or perhaps the way that they laugh at the joke, your jokes. It, it, there's something here, okay? And, and it's unspoken, but you guys both feel it. And it, there's just something here that makes them very drawn to you, like makes them want to get to know you here. They can't stop thinking about you. There's this sex, strong sexual attraction here that draws them to you. They could also feel a very strong emotional connection and even like a mental connection as well as a spiritual connection here. This person feels very comfortable around you and they feel like the two of you perfectly align, much like Tetris pieces. You guys just fit and this just makes sense. So if you both feel it and if they feel it and if it's undeniable, why is that neither of you are saying something? I think there's, I think someone here is waiting with the Seven of Pentacles energy. It's like maybe you're waiting until... Or they're waiting until they get a sign or until, you know, there's re um, there's reciprocation there, even though I think there is. Uh, I just It just feels like maybe this person is waiting for the right time or they're waiting for the right circumstances. Maybe they're just, you know, I feel like the both of you only really exchange a few words here and there. But there's just so much more beneath the surface to this connection. You feel their energy and you kind of feel you know what they feel for you because you feel that for them too without even having to say anything it's just that kind of intense uh, connection here they often find themselves daydreaming about you being caressed by you uh, being kissed by you and this is a very strong and overwhelming feeling for them they've never felt this type of way about an individual before and i don't know why i keep getting but this person hardly knows you or they know you but not all that well so it just feels like, you know, you're both reciprocating here. So why not give it a chance? Because I think this is something worth pursuing. Also, because of the 
uh, pattern edged in the pentacles i'm getting that this could be the fact that they're waiting okay because you're waiting and they're waiting could have something to do with your behavior here so maybe you know your person or yourself here have been lonely for quite some time and you might be searching for the one and this is why this person wants to feel you know feel things before they go ahead and rush anything so they may have like a list of qualities here that they find really desirable in a partner and you do tick a lot of their boxes um the truth is you know they don't they want to be sure okay they want to be sure that what they feel for you is real and what the two of you share is real because neither of you have cemented your feelings or your attraction for one another it's just this unspoken energy and even though it's strong and undeniable still there's not a lot of confirmation there right so maybe this person is scared that their, you know, their mind is not conjuring up this image of you falling in love with them or you feeling what they feel here so it's they're a little bit scared that then it's not an illusion of the mind that they've just created here but you know um, like a fantasy in their head here you could remind someone they might be projecting onto you and you could remind them of someone from either a past life or a past experience as well They found uh, they they find these feelings for you real though they're scared, but they do find them real only because you know it's unfamiliar. Okay, they've not felt this way before, so they do find you know they find themselves overwhelmed, but they feel like a part of them belongs to you and a part of you belongs to them. This is some really intense stuff. They're a little bit unsure whether you know this is love last infatuation or whether this could be something you know really special they're a little bit unsure so i think they're just they're kind of like you know i think you, you your hearts both race whenever you're around each other and i can see that you know they smile or make a lot of eye contact with you but it just feels like they're still trying to figure this out they're still trying to work things out here they're making a lot of excuses to see you so if you guys work together they're trying to pick up as much shifts alongside you or work on similar projects to you this person really wants to get to know you look at how the king of wands is leaning in towards the queen of wands they are going to take some action here they are and i think once they finally make a move and act on their attraction towards you ask you out or even strike up a conversation here that goes deeper than you know um the surface here you will have this reassurance or this sort of validation of you know your connection here towards one another could be a twin flame guys this could be a twin flame connection and even though this person might not necessarily believe in twin flames or soulmates well now they're thinking they're not so sure maybe it is a thing they're also drawn to your kindness and your compassion it makes them want to be around you you they feel like they want to be your friend they want to get close to you they want to build an emotional intimacy with you they're wondering if you feel the same way they fear rejection as well guys even though the king of wands is someone very bold and daring and someone you know very courageous right but at the end of the day you know people that are brave still have fears you know people that are brave and courageous they still have fears but they act in spite of it so yeah even though this person is coming across as very confident very assertive you know very sure of themselves yeah they're not entirely sure here it just feels like they still have some sort of you know fear of rejection what if you don't feel the same way this person wants to know if you you know if you have those same feelings if you feel the way that they feel and if you don't gosh i don't know if this person could bear the sting of rejection You have a lot in a lot, sorry a lot in common i'm seeing that the two of you have a lot in common that is drawing the two of you together so so many like your personalities may be very similar your sense of humor uh, your passions the things that you like you know this you, you watch the same type of genre of films listen to the same you know genre of music here there's a lot of personalities and this person feels like you understand them and that they just understand you it just draws you they feel like the two of you are kind of walking similar paths here even though they're not doing much here okay even though they're not acting on their feelings or initiating you know contact or communication um or asking you out they're admiring you from a distance look at them they're definitely admiring you from a distance here it seems like they are going to make 
some sort of move and make some sort of change to this situation. But as I've mentioned with the Seven of Pentacles energy, it does feel like they're kind of waiting for the right time, the right situation, the right words, you know, the, the right moment to tell you how you feel, to make a move, to make an advance on you. It feels like this person is really thinking things through and they just want everything to be perfect here. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching, listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.